Good morning everyone, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're having a good day, morning or evening. <laughs> I'm in my little workroom today. Um, it's been We've had a bit of snow. Not too bad now, it's all. We're getting milder outside, so it's generally just melting now. So yesterday and today, I've been in my workroom. I'll call it workroom because I do little bits and pieces. I do a little bit of stained glass as a hobby. I need sort of... Um, what do you call it, um, sun catchers and things like that. Um, so, at the moment, a little bit of my room has been taken up with seed potatoes, um, some more little seeds that I planted yesterday. I'll take you to have a look in a minute. But um, somebody on my channel recommended a, a book, so I actually ordered it, and it's lovely. I'll show you, um, it's called The Ten Minute Gardener by Val Vaughan and like I said before because I'm quite new to gardening, I mean I've had a garden for years, a little garden but not big enough to grow loads of veg and things but it actually gives you month by month what you should be planting, what you should be doing and Lots of little tips and hints. Let me get to the first page and I'll show you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right here. Winter tasks. And it shows you that. And on the next page. You've got January. And it goes on like that. And um, there's bits of things about fruit trees. Plant fruit trees that must be in January. Um, so it's really good. I'm not trying to sell it because I just bought it, but you know, generally a really good book. So that's the 10 minute gardener. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been sorting out my seed box. Right, I had this little tin, I don't know what obviously from when the kids were over here, but anyway, it's empty so I. I store all my seeds in there, so what I did was, you know these little dividers, you can get, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or the month, or whatever. I bought, I had a set of them already here, so I turned them long ways, cut, cut a bit off the bottom there, slid them in there. Right, what have I got here in, like, January? So I've got everything in that bit that I could sow in January. And everything in there in February and March and so on. So that was a good little thing I've got going in there. These these are the seeds that I don't know what they are. I ordered them, oh, must be last year from China. They look really good. But anyway, I've sown some to see what they are. Be interesting. I do remember that they did need some heat. But there was a little thing, nothing... There's only this on there and it doesn't really say what they are. Oh well. We'll have a surprise. And now, these are my seed potatoes in the bedroom. These ones are called Carlingford Second Earlies. I wrote all this on there so it reminds me what they are. Because I, did, I tried some last year and I got them all mixed up because I didn't put labels on them. But anyway, these ones are chitting nicely. So I've actually got the Carlingford, which is that row and that lot. And these ones are Charlotte. These are second earlies. I also put on there to help me that, that I need to harvest in July to September. So there's a few there. And what are these ones? I've got some more over here. These are Accord, first earlies. And as you can see, they're chitting nicely. Uh, there's another lot out of there. When I actually got them out of the bag, there was a few long, long uh, chits on them, so I took them off. So I could start again, like, really. These are the main crop. What are these called? Sapromira. So, basically, I've got a bag of each. But what I want to know, I don't know if anyone can tell me, there's only two of us and we only have 
probably the average potato, like maybe a jacket potato in the week, maybe some chips, maybe a bit of mash. Not loads, but am I growing enough to last? Because I've watched a few videos and people say, oh, they didn't grow enough potatoes. So if you've got any advice, pop it in the comments for me. Right, these are the seeds that I was sowing yesterday in this little progenitor heated one. Oh, so there's a bit of condensation in there now. Oops. Typical. So these are comfrey seeds I've sown in there. They're supposed to be really good for the garden, for, um, you know, liquid um, manure. You, you soak them in a, uh, a bag, I think, and uh, the water goes black and that's good for the garden. Now they're them seeds that I was just telling you about. I don't know what they are. So that would be interesting. And what else did I plant? Oh, cauliflower with the date. So I know what the date is. That's in them ones. Oh, Can't, oh could we have one hand? <laughs> I'll have to come back to that in a minute. Um, there's some more up here. These were anti-rhinums that I planted yesterday. And these ones you can sow in January. I looked on the packet. So I've got another set that... Uh, no, no, not the same actually. They were sweet peas. But I can sow them next month. Right, I'll show you outside. We have had quite a bit of snow, but... We've had quite a bit of snow, but it's melting now. There's some nuts in the feeder, but I don't think we've ever found that one yet. Yeah, so it's uh... it's nice to see, but I like to see it when it goes away. Anyway, that was only a short update, but if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and also comment in the vid comment in the video about the potatoes and my growing enough. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.